welcome back welcome back welcome back welcome back to my channel and in today's video we are doing a full makeup and i'm using drugstore and high-end product as you can see from the video or as you can see from the title so the left side of my face sorry the left side of my face i have the low product like low-end drugstore product and the right side of my face i have high-end product and you cannot really i'm looking at myself in the mirror over here because i have a mirror over here and honestly to god be honest can you tell the difference I don't think you can so if you're interested to know the products I used and interested to recreate this beautiful look stay tuned and keep on watching thank you <laughs> anyway so welcome back to my channel and as you can see from this video I am um, pushing through my fears and you know a little insecurity i have if you go through my last videos i think my last video of 2022 one of the things that i said i was going to mash forward in 2023 was to come up here as genuine and as free as i can be and that is showing how i look without makeup and it's quite a challenge because your girl has acne which is way under control but the result of clearing it in the course of me clearing it has led me to have like severe hyperpigmentation which of course i am still working on it so hopefully by the end of this year because that's how long the cost of the treatment is going to be. Um, um, my face will be clear and we'll get to my skin tone. Because you can see the difference. It's alarming. But that's not why we're here, is it? Anyways, we are here because I'm going to be showing you my favorite products when it comes to makeup. And in one side of my face, I'm going to be doing drugstore. Because I do put drugstore and high-end products and when I mean drugstore I mean something that it's affordable and you can get it either in your beauty supply which are normally not drugstore like in a pharmacy or anywhere else and then you get the high-end products where most of the time you get it from like Sephora, Alter hmm, or even from the website it's amazing most of the time Sephora is the go-to for makeup products that are high-end and um, I'll be showing you both side of my face where I'm going to be using the drugstore which will be the left side of my face and then the right side of my face I'm going to be using the high-end product so that you can see the difference and sometimes it's not even necessarily the product you use it's how you use it and how you blend it together if that makes sense so we'll go ahead and get started. Disclaimer, there's some things that I thought I had and I don't have it or I can't find it, but it is what it is. I have washed my face, moisturized. Now I head over with primer. And the first primer I'm going to be using is going to be the Milk Primer. And this is high end. This little bottle is a mini size and it costs about $20 if I'm not mistaken or 16 16 to $20 for this and it's a travel size now you have the drugstore version which I thought I did and I don't know why I picked it up but sitting down before sitting down on this video I rough shackled all my makeup things and as you all know I'm still moving so <laughs> many things are not really in place yet but that's okay this one and this one I'm going to put over here works the same, equally the same, okay? 
So I'm going to go ahead and apply a primer, which I try my best to do all the time before applying my foundation. And um, I mostly apply it on my T-zone area, meaning my nose, under my eye right here under my chin and on my forehead because that's where I mostly get oily and my skin is combination combination to oily skin so I get oily on my t-zone right here so I have that going for me I had cleaned my beauty blender so I have two beauty blenders and I'll be using um, clean and damp and I'll be using each one for each side of my face now we are going to start on my right side and I'll be using the Esther Lode foundation double wear this is one for now okay I haven't tried any yet in 2023 but in 2023 so far I'm sure you have seen this foundation several times on my channel and this baby is and I'll put the price right here how much it costs okay it's but it's really good and it's long lasting for me, especially if I do everything well. I really, really don't get oily. Of course, I'm gonna have shine here and there, but not really, really oily. And I'll use, normally I use a brush, but my brushes are dirty. So I said I was just gonna use a clean sponge and do this. I use a brush most especially because Brush don't really soak up products that much, but the sponge sometimes it soaks up all the products before you even apply. But here you go. And sometimes when I'm in a good mood, I will color correct my face. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and clear this up. So that's the right side of my face now let's go ahead and apply it on the apply foundation on my left side so i'm sure i have spoken about this foundation already if not now it is a time and if you haven't gotten it now is the time for you to get it and this is who is this again juvia's place i am magic natural regains foundation Listen, I've tried several drugstores. I've tried Maybelline. I have tried... Have I ever tried NYX? I don't remember. But I think I've been a whole, wholehearted kind of fan for Maybelline. And I see him because I use it still, but it's been a minute. But after I tried this, I'm sorry. I dished Maybelline away because this is... This babe is something else and it's good for oily skin like it's lightweight full coverage and it prevents oil like it's it's not math it has a radiant finish but it doesn't like after hours i was still like glowing not in the oily side but like in a glowing kind of way like a nice finished glower so there you go so I have that and I have the other side clean and I'm going to apply so this is one side of my face and this is the other side of my face now looking at it from this side I think that this is more like my skin tone you know it's given me my actual skin tone this one it's my skin tone but it's a little in the gray size a little gray but it's walkable and uh, when I'm done you're gonna see that it's all going to look the same you know not a significant difference but you can see on this other side of my face I have that glow and then this side it's good but I like this side so which one wins? Drugstore or high end? Personally, I think the drugstore wins when it comes to the foundation, baby. It's it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Now we're gonna head over to found um, concealer. 
So the concealer I'm going to be using today, and I'm sure everybody knows of this concealer, it is the Too Faced Born This Way Malta Use Sculpting Concealer. This baby is full coverage, and I've used it several times on this channel. Oh, my baby's my baby girl. Now we're gonna head over to our one of our favorites drugstore. I do have two of it, and I'm trying to see which one I want to use. Okay, I will use the Elf Camouflage, and people say this is the dupe for um, what is the dupe for? Oh, I've forgotten. But it's a dupe of one concealer that I've used as well and it's really good. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this over here. As you can see, this two is very, very full coverage. But the difference with this one is that I have to let it sit for a minute, you know. But the Born this way, the Too Faced on my right, it easily dries up, so I will go ahead and start up blending that while this one dries up. So, see now, this is the difference. So this is actually really, really full coverage. You can see it's like but this is full coverage but i can go and add another layer to make it really full coverage but for this video we are just going to leave it alone right this this will do right now i'm going to go ahead and contour for contour i have never ever actually bought a high-end contour because i personally think it's not worth it but my idea can change, you know, my mentality can change. If I try something that I love, it can change. But my OG, OG, OG is the Black Opal and I'm using it in the shade Black Walnut. And I've been using this for God knows how long. And you've seen me. There you have it. I remember what I said, blending is the key to everything. And if you're a blush, blush girl like myself, okay, we're going to be trying our all-time fave. I'm obsessed with orange blush. And I'm sure you have seen this blush by Ray Beauty in the shade Love by everybody. So I've had this quite some time and I love it and now we're going to match it on this other side with NYX with NYX um, sweet cheeks in the shade Coralicious Coralicious all right a little similar but this one is a little pink it has like a pink undertone but I tried to bring something similar hopefully I feel like this is more orange than this but that's fine we're going to go ahead and apply the blush and I'm going to use this other clean side and blush myself up and there's one thing I don't like about this um other blush it dries easily so let me try and apply more and then blend it it like the dry time is so quick so you have to be very quick with it but that's okay there you have it and i'm going to take this other side and apply this one Okay. Um, 
we can apply more just to match a little bit more I'm a blush kind of person I'm a blush girl so <laughs> I love me some blush okay I think that is good yeah I think that's good all right I think that's that's good so far how are we liking it so far when it comes to the blush i think both of them i'll give them a 10 out of 10 the same because it's still it's giving what it's supposed to get now i'm going to go ahead and set my face wherever i did put the highlight and then i can i can bake after so i always set before i bake and i need to get myself some new pops but for the setting powder, I haven't really gotten anything to match this yet. <laughs> and I'm sure you have used this already several times. It is the um, Charlotte Tilbury setting powder in the shade medium 2. So... I haven't really found another setting powder to match this but when I do I'm gonna get you let you girls know now we can go ahead and bake and for the right side of my face I'm going to be using this from SO to bake and I'm going to use it on the side of my face so this is the high-end one and I'm using it on my right. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to bake. There you go. And for the left side, I'm going to be using Morphe. And it's on the shade translucent. I think the Morphe one. I think it's equivalent to like um, Laura Mercier translucent powder, I think, but let's see, and it's very fine, I like it, so this is how it's looking, right? Now we have that our face is baking and we can go ahead and set our contour and blush and why that is baking. There you have it and now I'm going to go ahead and apply my blush and both of my blush and my um how do you call it i had a high-end blush but i can't also find it and it's really good but both of my blush uh and my contour is from juvia's place both of them and i've used this several times but and I've used this several times and I'm too faithful. Now I'm going to do a reverse control. Now for powder, I'm going to be using MAC, which has been my OG from long time ago, to dust off the right side of my face. So that's one side of my face, and then I'm going to take Sephora. I mean, Sephora is compared to Mac is more expensive. I mean, compared to Mac is cheaper, and I would consider Sephora as drugstore honestly. But some other people might beg to differ. So I'm gonna use Sephora to that's this other side of my face. You for and you had got so I'm going 
going to go ahead and finish the rest of my face because all I need to do is set my face and voila but I'm going to be using two different setting spray honestly I'm not even gonna lie for this side of my face I'm going to be using the SO for this side which is high-end and Morphe for my and Morphe for my right side and you're going to see the difference I think I'm gonna go with a Morphe. <laughs> Can you tell me why this one sprayed like that? Let me try this again. Mm -hmm. It sprays like um my god. It sprays like um spirit how far I can say but anyways I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my face put my eyelashes finish my hair and I'll be back but so far what's your thought what are you thinking you are seeing it comes out with the key is blending blending is the key because even with the drugstore side of my face it looks pretty beautiful high-end beautiful all you need to do is know how to work your products and you're good and you can mix and match you must not have all drugstore you must not have all high-end you can have both but it all depends on your coins so let's go ahead and let me finish this and i'll be right back thank you so much for staying till the end of the video and thank you so much for hitting that like Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for all the love and the comments I get. Even if it's one comment, one comment melts my heart. So thank you, thank you, thank you very much. And yes, yeah, so you tell me, based on all the products I use, can you tell the difference now? Maybe you thought I was joking at the beginning when I told you it's high-end and low-end makeup. And can you tell the difference? Because to God, I cannot really tell the difference. Because if I go out with this makeup, you will think I use the same product all over my face. But that's not true. I literally have a million bucks on my left and quite a few coins on my right. But I still look good regardless. So my, my point is, sometimes you don't need to break the bank to look good. Okay? The key, or they say the meat or the whatever, it's right in your hands. Meaning blending is the key. How you play with your product is the key. You don't have to break the bank, but if you have the coins too, go ahead because i'm not here to tell you oh this is good this is not good this is, no i'm just here to show you the difference and you are the one to make the final decision the yam and the knife is in your hands you decide what you want to do with it but with that bit, but with that out of the way girl i'm feeling myself but i'm so angry that i'm not going anywhere looking all this you know Sexy, I feel sexy, I feel good, and the week is given what it's supposed to give. And if you're interested to see how I achieve this look, meaning the hair, how I got to this point, go ahead, head over to my Instagram at Wicklistic D, and you should see, you should see how I achieve this hair, and you're going to love it too. And I can always, always recreate it for you. You just need to send us a DM, okay. Last but not the least, the lips now. Whew, child, I went on Instagram and I was like, are you a lip gloss or a lipstick kind of girl? Personally, I'm both. But majority of the time, you're going to see me with lip gloss. But I always try to wear lipstick when I'm going in for like very, very sexy, professional Kind of thing you know and reds will never go wrong never and that's what is given oh child 
I think I've spoken too much for a day. But peace and see you in my next video. <laughs>